Right, uh, another quick video, um, just to kind of follow on from the last one that I did um, about. So I was looking at ways to control uh, an oscillator circuit using an Arduino. Um, so last time I I tried to I basically experimented to try and find a good way to do it. Tried a few different methods. Um, it wasn't great. Um, so I said I was going to try a couple more things, and I've now tried them. So. Um, I'll, I guess I'll get straight on to show you these. Um, so, the first one is... Um, so last time I, I tried a digital potentiometer, um, and it, it sounded fine, but the, there weren't many steps. Like, you could hear the stepping as it was going up and down in pitch. Um, so I went online and found one that uh, had a, um, a slightly bigger... Well, it was 8-bit so it should give 256 values um, and I figured I'd see if that's enough values for you to not hear the steps um, so I've got it set up now um, and basically let's have a look so uh, Arduino Nano um, I've got the synth circuit over here, I'm using the 40106 because uh, it's just really, 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 really easy. Um, and that is the digital potentiometer. Uh, so it's an um, something, 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 an MCP4251. So it's got, it's actually two um, digital potentiometers in one chip. So um, let me find something to point with. Uh, that's wrong there right so oh my god where did that come from get out of the way right so the these two um, these two pins here is so that's kind of that's your uh, wiper pins well these three Oh god, I'm probably not using the right words, but th they're the bit that are being a potentiometer, and um, you've got the same thing on the other side, and you can control them separately. Um, so, yeah, hope that makes sense. Um, like as with all of this stuff, I kind of I figure this out as I go. I don't claim to have loads of knowledge about this stuff, um, but hopefully what I'm showing you is enough to kind of point you in the right direction. So, uh, it sounds like this. Oh, hang on, right, I'll, I'll just restart this um, this sketch. So the Arduino sketch that I'm using is um, is one that I grabbed, I'll link to it, I'll, I grabbed it online. So it's not, it's not perfect, but it kind of gives you an idea. And it, it kind of screws up at the beginning there, and then it goes, right, here we go. So as you can hear, the pitch at each step is is much more stable than um, some of the other ways that I did it. I, I guess well the last one, the digital potentiometer was um, was stable, um, and there's more steps. You can still hear the stepping. It it, actually, it goes really low in pitch. Like it stays quite low down there for quite a while. So I, I did try to find. I think if I use a smaller, um, a smaller capacitor in the oscillator circuit, um, this one, that's ten. Oh God, what's the word? I think it's nanofarad. The one that looks like a UF. That's ten, and I figure if I put something smaller on there, um, so that the the pitch range is higher, you might not hear the steps as much. Because once it gets once it gets down to the lower range of the of, of the kind of um, impedance values that it can have, the steps seem to be. Oh no, no, it's all to do with pitch. I should have script, scripted this. I'm just kind of thinking out loud now as I go along. So sorry. Yeah, I, I, maybe with a, a lower pitch range, the steps wouldn't be so much a problem. But I don't know. I don't think that's the solution. That I'd want to use, um, 
the, the, the steps are just too uh, too noticeable. I think you can maybe get a 16-bit um, digital potentiometer, and that's probably the way to do it, because um, then you'd be on a thousand odd steps, and I think that'll probably be small enough that you wouldn't be able to notice it. Um, so at some point I might try and pick one up, and if I do, I'll put a video up. But um, but yeah, I mean the good thing about these these chips is like they're quite they're quite cheap. I think like I, I just went straight to eBay. Um, same as all this stuff, just straight to eBay from some Chinese manufacturer, and they were I don't know three or four quid. I got two of them, and um, and then each chip does two potentiometers. So, you know, they, and and it's relatively easy to set up. Um, so it's so what have we got? We got four four connections from the Arduino to the to the MCP. So you know, it, it's quite straightforward. The programming of it is slightly weird. Like the actual, um, it's it's not as straightforward as some of the other stuff I've done. I, I, I don't know, but I think given a little bit more time, that it probably will be. Uh, so that's that one. Um, so then the other one is um, well, yeah, I've got another one, and I'll uh, I'll just set it up now, and I will uh, show you that. Right, so here's the other one. Um, so this is so in the in the last video, I kind of I tried to make a really simple um, digital to analog converter circuit, which um, the thing I'd read said it was just a, a resistor and a capacitor um, and I couldn't make it work so what I ended up doing is just um, is just buying a, a DAC uh, so I'll show you what I've got it's, it's that bit there and uh, so it, it's uh, this one's a, an Adafruit one MCP4725 and so it, you control it by a uh, serial connection from the Arduino, and it just puts out a voltage. So then I've got um, I've got the voltage from that um, from the DAC controlling the um, the LED that's in in there. And so this is uh, this has a photoresistor in it with some shrink wrap around it. So it's a kind of you know bodged um, voltage controlled resistor, um, and and again, I've just got a 40106 oscillator circuit over here, and this is what it sounds like. So that's the full, um, full range of pitches. Yeah. So yeah, that's 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 kind of swept up and down the full range. It's really smooth. It sounds stable. Uh, I think when you keep it at, if you keep it at a single pitch, I'm trying to figure out if I can like do that quickly. Yes, I can. Talk amongst yourselves for just a moment. Uh, I'm going to feel like a wizard if this works. I think it just uploaded. So let's see. So there we go. So it keeps a pretty stable, constant pitch. Um, now, there is a great big but. Um, what I ended up having to do... What I ended up... What I ended up having to do is um, I've actually not got the 4106 circuit being powered by the Arduino. I've got that being powered, uh, I've got a 9 volt adapter over in all of that nonsense over there somewhere uh, coming in, doodly 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 do
and then obviously the other end I was getting um, power over USB. I assume it's something to do with USB, like power over USB. I've had problems with that before. Um, I don't know enough about the technicalities to be able to explain why it's happening, but it, it causes issues. So if I, um, what I'll quickly do is, uh, well, unplug that adapter so as not to cause horrible catastrophe. So if I um, unplug these and then I'll get it hooked up um, to the Arduino power so that's that one we want 5 volts from there into there. Um, so first thing you'll notice is the pitch will change um, because there's there's uh, I was running it on 9 volts so now I think the pitch will be lower than it was. Yeah. Um. That doesn't sound that bad. But what I was finding, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna just re-upload that sketch that makes it sweep up and down. Uh, so uh, any second now, there we go. Stuff's happening. Right. When it eventually gets there. Okay, that's kind of weird, because that's not doing what I heard it do when I was testing it earlier. It it was kind of, um, the pitch was really unstable, and it, it just sounded really odd um, last time, so maybe I need to just have a better look at my setup. Maybe there's something wrong with how I've either plugged stuff in, or, or I don't know, something. There might, be, there might be something I've done wrong there. So I, I was going to give a dire warning of don't power it from the Arduino power. I guess I'll I'll change that to just experiment with it. And if it sounds okay, then great. And if it doesn't, then you'll have to figure something else out. Um, so hopefully that's been at least slightly useful. Um, and I will... Yeah, I guess I'm going to try... I, I only ended up getting one of these um, DACs, so I might try and pick up another one or two and try and make some kind of instrument out of that. Um, so if I do that, I'll, uh, I will let you know. Uh, Laters.